Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get ourselves a D Rocker. Yes, indeed, we are. So, um, I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to go to sleep uh, just so we can set it to morning so we're not working in the dark. Um, and we are going to have just a little bit of a payout to old Arnold uh, because we didn't actually purchase the property from him until. I think we had another 90 ounces of gold or something. I don't remember. But anyway, let's just go ahead and go to sleep and make it morning. And let's see what the deal is here. Okay, so we, yeah, so we had to pay Arnold about 34000 which I was expecting. Uh, but that is the last time we have to pay for any kind of rent on this property. Uh, worker salary was 4000 which is not too bad of a deal. Uh, we earned... A total of 862.86 ounces yesterday uh, in, in that in-game day. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Okay, so we are now sitting at an $809 uh, dollars and $809,842. It's three days till winter. It's already starting to snow. Um, so, uh, but I am still, you know, planning on, on keeping the time at 1x for the most part. Uh, so we should still be able to get quite a bit more mining done before winter actually sets in. Um, my understanding, too, by the way, of what happens with that is that we have to basically disconnect all of our equipment and then send it into storage for the winter if, if we're not planning on mining through the winter, which I'm not, uh, for, at least not for this first uh, season here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, why don't we hop in a pickup truck and go into town and get ourselves a D-Rocker. We might even, depending, oh, our mechanics are working on on my vehicles. But there's probably um, some tires that need work or whatever. Uh, look at this, though. These guys completely repaired this back to 100%, which is really, oh, never mind. They didn't repair it back to 100%, but they got it back to 83%, which is still really good. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's hop in a truck and go into town and buy ourselves a D-Rocker. Uh, we're going to go, you know, obviously we're shooting for tier uh, four now, uh, which is basically three new pieces of equipment. It's a D-Rocker, it's the old Arnold Trommel, and it's the the uh, planter, uh, two planters we're going to need to take the place of the uh, duplex jigs. And then once that's completely upgraded, then we'll be fully into a tier four operation, which of course is going to get us more gold. Um, and we will continue... Uh, hiring people as we get the opportunity that is the one downside of playing on one x is that you know the workers are few and far between their availability for us uh, but that's okay we'll, uh, we'll eventually get there at some point too i might speed the time back up a little bit um i'll have to think about that I have to weigh the pros and cons Oh, I was going to tell you guys, too, I do now have uh, both a steering wheel and a side panel set up, and I do have it working with the game. However, I'm not using that for this episode because, you know, we're going to have to do some walking around and stuff, and I'm only really good with that stuff when I'm, when I'm mostly driving. So, yeah, we're just going to use the mouse and keyboard, at least for the first part. Once we get things set up and go, and then I might switch back to all of that. I guess the mechanics just rode in the back of the truck with this. Do we put the brake on? I think so. Okay, so. I also set my controls to always run, but I was so used to hitting shift that when I hit shift, <laughs> then I slowed down again. Uh, all right, so the D-Rocker. Uh, this is going to cost us four twenty nine six sixty. dollars Press E to order. Uh, and we're going to also, when we pull the shaker off, we'll sell that and we'll get a little bit of money back uh, for that too. Okay, so let's add that to the cost. And that takes down our um, money about halfway-ish. And then we're going to want an old Arnold Trommel. Uh, which is this. Yeah, we can afford, we can definitely afford this too. So let's get it right now. We want one of those. 
And that gets us down. How much does a planter cost? Yeah. Let's well let's buy these first two and then we'll see what we're left with. We might need to wait on the on the planter. If uh, you know, and I could get one and then buy another one later too. Um so let's order these things. Yeah, that gets us down to 149, 170. So the planters are going to have to wait for a little bit longer. Uh, plus, we still have to also uh, transport all this stuff, too. So I want that over and that over. Nice. So we're uh, about half of halfway to uh, a full tier four, considering that we still have to buy two planters. And that leaves us, yeah, like I said, with a 149, 170. I don't want to get really any lower than that. Well, we can't because an old Arnold's tra trauma is more money than that anyways, unless we took out a loan, which there's no point in doing that. Okay, let's go back to the claim and get this stuff in place. And then we'll, like I said, we'll sell the old, old stuff and get a little bit of cash back. I'm not expecting very much, but every little bit helps. Oh, man, did I forget to press something they're not here all right you know what we're gonna do uh we're just gonna use the oops turn this off we're just gonna use the delivery service i, I have to buy it but i was i was planning on doing that anyways uh oh and it's the thunderstorm <laughs> i hate these thunderstorms Every single time I go to use my tablet, there's a thunderstorm. No, not every single time, but more often than not. Doggone it. Oh, did it just end? Nope. <laughs> Crap. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll drive back to town and do this right. Ugh. That's better. There we go. Look at our new tier four equipment. It's amazing. Okay, so we're going to have to go grab our... Uh, whoops. Don't run into the gas tank. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, let's go get our excavator and pull out the old and come in with the new. Oh, crap. I had... Uh, I still had dirt in there. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... No, no, wrong button. Okay, well, let's see if we can... Um, goodness gracious. Let's see if we can get it over there. I want to get down to a little bit flatter ground, and then I'll swing the everything around. I hope those other cables don't break. Okay. I guess those other two chains must have been right on the verge or something. I don't know. Uh, we're going to be able to get through here. Let's see if that's enough. <laughs> this is like so dangerous. <laughs> If it was a real world situation. Yeah, we can sell the shaker. Oh, we're gonna get thirty-eight thousand for that. Okay, that's more money than I thought we were gonna get. Boom. Okay, it's sold. <laughs> uh let's go grab a couple more chains while we're over here. Let's go up a little more. Hope those cables don't break. All right, now let's do this. Okay, I think we can get it from here. Um, so let's disconnect you and you. Because we're going to have to reposition. 
Okay, so we are in digging mode, so we're going to lift this up. And yeah, let's see if we can transport it like this. Without knocking our genie or our trailer or anything like that over. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! We <laughs> got it! We lost all of our cables and smashed our water pump. Oh no, this is not a good day. This is not a good day. Hopefully it didn't damage the water pump. I mean, in real life it would have crushed it, but... I don't think... I think we're... <laughs> Crap. I think we're okay in the game. We just got to go get some more cables. Let's hur hurry up and do that before another thunderstorm comes. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, man. It's like... It's the doggone tree that's messing us up here. Move it over this way. That ought to be good enough. Uh, I don't want to sell the chains, just the trommel for 12000 Whew, okay. Now we got to get this, the new trommel over there in one piece. And uh, we might, for this one, we might go ahead and just temporarily take down the hog pens. So we can get out of here without busting up our shop here. Okay, I think we're all hooked up there. That's as high as the boom's going to go. Back up a little more. Huh. Interesting <clears throat> that it's heavier on that side. Or, wait a minute. Is it getting caught up on the... It shouldn't be caught on that. I, I, I'm kind of wondering if it is, though. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, then let's um, see if we can swing it this way. There we go. I don't have those twisted, do I? I don't think so. Okay, so you're up as high as you're going to go. You're up that high, and then we can raise it up a little more with the bucket. Whew, okay, let's be careful. Uh, where is the motor on this, by the way? Everything is so dark, I can't see. I guess it's on this side? I think that goes on this side. Oh, my goodness. All right. I might be able to straddle those hog pans, actually. Here. I think I can. Let's just get that out of the way. We'll just straddle right through here. That way I don't got to move that stuff. All right, 
so yeah I I think I have this the right direction I think Oh, we got it. All right. I was going to lift it up a little more, but we got it. Very cool. Okay, let's go get the uh, D-Rocker, and we should have everything in place. There we go. Whew. Okay. Man, this is nerve-wracking to <laughs> do this, you guys. Totally nerve-wracking. Let go, chains. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go drop these chains off, and then we'll go hook everything up here. And uh, make sure it's all working. All righty. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Get the water reconnected. If I can get down to the thing. There we go. Let's coil that up. Oh, actually, hold on. Where does the water connect on this? Uh, oh, here. Okay. All right, that's good. And then we need to connect the power to here. And... Oh, okay, so those have, like, little hatches that drop the gold down through there. Interesting. Uh, Houston? Stuck. Okay, so we got the two grills up here. I guess that must drop the material into a chute below this and then the bigger stuff just goes out the end of the tube so it's a little bit different design than the than the other trommel but i think i get what's going on there now okay i think i get what's going on there now what do we have in here we have a full load of dirt in here uh let me go go ahead and load up the dump truck uh with another load and then when we can get two loads running i'll bring you guys back and we'll do our first Run with the D-Rocker and the OA Trommel.
Okay, let's run some dirt. See how this D-Rocker's gonna do. Um, why? Oh, that requires more water. Okay. Hold on then. Um, hmm. How do we deal with this? Well, you guys aren't even hooked up. Glad we came down and looked at this. Okay, so this connection here. No, this connection here. Which is the one on the right-hand side. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell that way, am I? Doesn't have to be on for now. I just don't remember which one is which. Okay, let's turn the water back on for a second. We don't have a dried up crick, do we? I don't think so. Not this time of year. No, oh, that all looks good. Okay. Well, let's do something here. Let's disconnect both you and you. Okay, so that's working. Is this on? The, the sound on this pump doesn't... Yeah, it cuts in and out, so it's hard to tell. So it it's like maxed at 53. And I'm afraid if we hook up our hog pens... Uh, I just don't remember which one is the hog pen. Okay, yeah, that that stops it. Maybe it's this one here. Okay, so I think we're going to have to run the hog pans from our water tank. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Hmm. Okay. Can I get this over there? You still wrapping? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? I lost the end of it. Okay, it's winding to there. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I think it was actually getting caught on the thing there. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now, let's run this uh, across here. And if it doesn't reach, we'll have to... Uh, yeah, it reaches. Okay, so that's an output. And we have fuel in here, so let's turn her on. Hmm. So does that mean 
Does that mean you have to have like two big pumps when you start getting into tier four and tier five or maybe we, what we need to do is fix this thing next. It's going to cost 150 grand. I guess we could do it right now. And then that would probably feed everything. That would leave us 45 grand, which and we don't owe anybody any money except for our workers. And they're only about 4,000 a day. I don't see why not. Maybe we should just fix this up now. You know, plus we're going to be bringing in more gold anyway, so let's do it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take this cable here, or not cable, hose. and connect it to here. All right. And then we're going to, we might not need to, to do this. We need to get another fat hose because what I want to do is I want to pump water from here now into the water tank. I think I think I might have one more fat hose back in the shed. If not, we'll we'll buy it. Hopefully we don't get a thunderstorm. I gotta tell the game, nope, not buying anything, game. Go ahead, bring a thunderstorm. We gotta, we gotta psych it out. Yes, we do. Okay, good. So we do have another giant hose here. So that way we'll just keep using our pump to fill our tank, our water tower. Um, you know, from the crick. And I don't know if it'll use it more than it'll, you know, quick, at a quicker rate than it'll fill it, but at least it'll definitely help. Okay, now let's put you in the inn and it's starting to fill it up. Okay, cool. Um, now we should be able to take this back and hook it back up the way it was originally, assuming the water tower can handle the flow. I think it can. Let's just wrap this back up. Looks like it's getting caught on the, there we go. Might get caught on this too. Okay. And then on here and back into here should be able to keep all that hooked up now all right so there we go all right, so we're using 67 gallons per minute, but this is producing 106, so that that's good. It does look like it's using it faster than it's filling it, though. All right, so what if we disconnect that? Because that's for the wash machines, and that doesn't have to stay connected. Does it matter, though, since the wash machines aren't on yet? It doesn't seem to matter. still 63 gallons because we're not using the washing machines. All right, that's fine. We, we can just keep this connected. So at some point, you know, we'll have to... Well, every time we, you know, we take a break and do a clean-out and stuff like that, you know, it'll, it'll start to refill. So I think we're good. I think we're, we're good for now. I like it. Okay. So let's get uh, let's get some dirt going here, guys. Start everything up. We got water. And let's check out our new D rocker. That is cool, man. Awesome. My wife and I are um, almost finished with season two of Gold Rush. 
And uh, in season two, for those of you who don't know, uh, a miner named Dakota Fred uh, brings a D-Rocker in and uses it for their season. And it looks very, very similar to the real thing. Super cool. Oh, and it's even throwing rocks out the end. Look at that. Better but be careful that stuff doesn't hit us. So, with the D-Rocker and the old Arnold Trommel, we should start seeing uh, an increase in gold yield. And then, of course, when we can afford to do so, uh, we will also purchase a couple of uh, planters to replace the duplex jigs. And so we're going to need around five grand, I think, ish, to get two more planters. So that's what we will be working towards. But guys, I'm going to let you go here and uh, just start moving dirt. And I'll bring you back in the next episode with an update on how we're doing. And we will go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Oh, wow. That thing's fast, man. It's already, it's already done. Uh, I used to have to wait for the, uh, the shaker to get down to below 50 before I could load the next dirt or it would it would overload it. Man, that thing moves the dirt through quickly. All right, cool. Anyway, bye guys.